next on All Access. What's the mood of the team right now? Motivated, mm. ready to go, ready to put whatever happened last week, last two weeks behind us, learn from it, and move on. <laughs> see this couple just walk by, they're taking pictures. This is what people do, they come by, they see what we do, and they get into us. So we invite them to come eat with us, come drink with us, and have a good time. Get this one. I promise that. Hall of Fame careers were born on this night. First at quarterback. Strikes to run with it. He is down to the five, and he's in. Touchdown, Tom Brady. We are here today at right outside of Gillette Stadium at Patriot Place, and I just got to make a make a kid's wish come true uh, through the Make a Wish Foundation. When Make a Wish said I could have any wish I want, I thought of this verse as after they gave me choices, but I was like, hey, I'd, I'd like to. Need the Fourth and one, Raiders dial up a, a play action here, and he can get deep and can take it behind the defense. So definitely a guy we got to stop here. The Patriots submit their second straight clunker to fall to one and four on the season. Hello and welcome to Patriots All Access presented by Geico. I'm Steve Burton. Hard to believe, but things were actually worse for New England this week as they were shut out at Gillette Stadium for the first time since 2016. One week after suffering their worst loss of his coaching career, Bill Belichick's team responded with the second worst loss of his career. Offensively, New England has been challenged. They have failed to score a touchdown in their last 10 quarters. And changes are on the way. After the blowout loss to the Saints, Coach Belichick vowed to be starting over. We are now in our Bob Ziscon Furniture Studios with Mike Reese and Paul Perillo, and we are in uncharted territory. You would think, after the Dallas game, that they respond against the Saints. Did not happen. Is there a bigger issue going on here? Yeah, you do wonder because uh, I think Mike and I both kind of felt like, the, you know, there wasn't a lock that the Patriots were going to win the game, but I think we both felt there would be a better performance, Mike, and we didn't see it. And I do wonder just, uh, you know, how much everybody's pulling in the, in the same direction mm. in the locker room. So you ask a question, are there bigger issues? I think there might be. Well, I'm concerned about Steve. Are you concerned about Steve? I'm here? Because concerned I before about Steve. I talk I about, about the you. team, I just wanted to check on you. I'm you okay. okay. I'm okay. okay. But we need to figure this out. All right. We're at the top of the show. You yes. know that that's bad news for bad. the Patriots. Steve, I am concerned for this team. Um, what I've seen is different than really anything that I've seen since mm -hmm. I started reporting on the team in 1997. Um, this is a major, major hole that they have to dig out of. And so I'm keeping an eye on how they do it. And I'm also keeping an eye on my friend because I'm worried about you. Steve. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Well, I got to address the elephant in the room. The quarterback situation. They are sticking with Mac. Why are they sticking with Mac? Yeah, I, I'm a little surprised, to, uh, to be honest. But um, my, my only guess here, Mike, is that they just don't feel comfortable enough with the other options. If Bailey Zappi had come into the game either one of the last two weeks and hit some of the – I thought he had some opportunities to make some throws, particularly in the New Orleans game, and he missed them. You know, so – I think it's hard to make that argument that you need the guy who's coming in mop up when ostensibly it's easier, yep. you know, and you know the pressure's off and he's not really moving the team either to make a move. But I, I was a little surprised just given the amount of turnovers. Agree what Paul said. Um, I would say they're sticking with him, Steve, for now. Mm -hmm. Another pick six early in this game oh, against yeah. the Raiders, and that might be all over uh, for him. I think the throw he made to Pop Douglas might have saved him because it came after the big mistake he made with mm -hmm. the pick six, showing that he can bounce back a little bit. Now can he put that together over a full game? If I stick with him, you know, does that give me the best chance to win now, even if the future is still unsettled? And I think that to me was why the players were off Monday. Totally different schedule yep. this week because they needed to come up with that answer. And I think Robert Kraft says this all the time, measure nine times, and cut once, and it wouldn't surprise me if at one point in the week he was thinking one way, and at another point in the week he was thinking another, and by the time he had to make the cut, he felt like, okay, emotions had settled, All right. and we're going forward with this decision. 
All right, guys, don't go far because there's a lot more to talk about. We're going to talk about how they're going to make adjustments going into the Raiders game. We'll be back more with Patriots All Access right after this. Coming up on All Access. A conversation with Captain Dietrich Wise. Does this team still believe they can win? Most definitely, yes. And later, comedian by night, tailgater by day. It's Tales from the Tailgate. We, we did some bacon, we got some uh, pearl sausages, we got some steak going, we got some grits and fried fish going. We're watching Patriots All Access. Patriots All Access is brought to you by Bank of America, the official bank of the New England Patriots. And by Ace Ticket, where New England fans go for tickets to all their favorite events. Visit aceticket.com. And by AdCare. Be recovery strong. Speak up and reach out. Ask for help. Call AdCare at 800-ALCOHOL. He's in trouble, dumps it across the middle, it's picked off. And running white to the 15 to the 10, it's another big six. Into the end zone, a touchdown for New Orleans. Second a goal to go from the five. Two receivers left, Alava inside of Sheehy. Thomas split to the right. A single back for Carr, he drops back, he looks to throw, he fires back to the end zone, touchdown Ooh. New Orleans. He finds Alave under the goal post. That's number one receiver right there, boy. Just go back to work, man. That's really what it's all about. I mean, it's just not good enough at any level. Um, it's not how we want to play football. It's not how we want to do things. Welcome back to All Access, presented by GEICO. The Patriots' season appears to be at a crossroads. Dan Rhodes explores the direction they need to be headed in. After another difficult loss Sunday, the Patriots sit at 1-4 for the first time since 2000. Look, you don't execute on Sundays, you get beat. That's what happens in this league. Teams are too good, so um, it's tough. Adversity is a part of life. And whether you experience it professionally, personally, uh, it's inevitable. So, I mean, really, this is going to be a test of our character. Bill Belichick confirmed Wednesday that Mac Jones will remain his starting quarterback. Right now, it's not looking too good, but we got to flip the switch, right, and start over and figure out ways to go out there and, and have fun and sling the ball around and um, guys go make plays and then celebrate with each other, too. He'd be the first to tell you that, you know, there's things that he has to do better, whether it's obviously take care of the ball or, you know, maybe read the route better or, or get us into a better play or whatever it is, but it's a collective effort. Mack and the offense have turned the ball over six times the past two games, causing the Pats to fall behind early. You wonder if that takes a toll on this defense. I would be lying if I said, you know, the players don't feel some of that. Um, at the same time, us as coaches, it's our job to remind them that like, we're not on that side of the ball. Like, let's continue to get them the ball. And finally, despite their struggles, there's no finger pointing, 
only looking in the mirror when it comes to leading in the locker room. I take a lot of pride in how we should play, how we need to play. Um, I take a lot of pride in our room, um, you know, because like I said, I've been here a long time, and I think it's important, you know, to represent the way you play. You know, right now we're going through some adversity, but uh, adversity reveals character. Um, and I feel like we have a high character locker room. We just need to remain optimistic. Uh, we need to maintain our belief in our process, our belief in one another, stick together and you know, see what happens. Bill Belichick has won at least one regular season or postseason game in 50 different NFL stadiums. The only stadiums he hasn't won that are presently being used U.S. Bank Stadium in Minnesota and Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. For Patriots All Access, I'm Dan Roach. All right, Roach, thank you very much for joining me now as Patriots defensive end and captain, Dietrich Wise Jr. Good to see you, my friend. See you too. By the way, nice sweatshirt. Appreciate it. I appreciate, I appreciate it even more. Hey, uh, what's the mood of the team right now? Angry, frustrated, what? Motivated, hmm. ready to go ready to put whatever happened last week, last two weeks behind us, learn from it, and move on. As a captain, is it tough trying to motivate a team that's struggling? How do you handle a struggling football team? It's not tough to motivate a team. These guys here, they, they want to get better. They, they love the game. Uh, you just have to remind them uh, mm. to remind, re remain unfazed and unbothered about the outside noise and focus on where you are right now and where you want to be. And just saying that right there, these, these guys know where they want to be, know where they, they want to achieve, mm -hmm. and it's, it's wins. And uh, after that, we're ready to go, having fun in practice, ready to uh, get after it. That's so well said, but you're human too, right? That is true. So how that do you true. block out all the negative stuff around you? Support system. Mm -hmm. The biggest support system that we have is our teammates. We've all gone through ups and downs in life, and sometimes our biggest critics are, our, critics are ourselves outside of the outside side noise here. So when you see guys kind of down in the locker room or frustrated after a tough game, yeah. what do you, you do? have to tell them like how uh, uh, Jalen Mills told me the story that Kobe, he watched the video, and Kobe said after he had bad games, mm -hmm. he treated it like he treated the bathroom. He just flushes it. So, wow. so anything that happens, he flushes it because he, he realizes that it's the past. It already happened. So whatever happens in the past is history. You can't change it. Whatever you do today can't change the past, right? Mm -hmm. So what you, what, 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 what? you can work on your next move, work on, your, work on the future, and work on where you are right now. So you, got, you motivate guys, tell them, hey, yeah, you had a bad game, or yeah, you had a bad play, or whatever the case is going on, but just remember why you're doing this, remember why you're playing, and remember your purpose behind it. And we just have a little talk, and that's it. Does this team still believe they can win? Most definitely, yes. All right, all right. Well put. There it is. <laughs> well put. Let me ask you this. Going forward, all right, you got the Raiders uh, coming up. They're a team that thinks that they can beat you guys. You're a team that has to go down and stop a losing streak. How do you do that? By winning. That's it. We, our mindset is to win when we get in practice. We work on our techniques and our fundamentals. We learn from what we did in the previous games. We know what we can do, what we can't do. And if everybody just does their job at the highest level, and that's what, that's what happened, a win. What is the danger of someone trying to do too much? Is there a danger? Yeah, there, 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 there has been in the past, um, I've seen guys try to do too much, and what happens is you try to do your job and FS's job, right. and then catastrophes happen. So when that happens, you have to just re 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 remember, we don't need superheroes, mm -hmm. we need you. We need you to do your, your 11th of the job, and that makes the whole thing work. Well put, well put. But how do you hold your teammates accountable when they're not doing their jobs? You talk to them. Let, let, let them, them, them know, hey, this is your job. You must do it. Everybody has a role on the team. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a job description. And everybody must follow that in order to make the whole thing work. Are you confident you have the pieces to put this thing back together? Yes. Enough said. Again, nice sweatshirt. Thank you very much. Teacher Wise Jr., I guess. We'll be back with more Patriots All Access right after this.
congratulations to Carver head coach Ben Chufain, who has been selected as our high school coach of the week. The Crusaders move to 5-0 on the season with a dramatic come-from-behind overtime win over Cohasset, ending a 17-game losing streak to the Skippers. Presenting the award is Pro Football Hall of Fame linebacker Andre Tippett. High school football is where the passion started for me. I know the true values of what a great program, a great head coach, a great community can do for you. The Patriots Charitable Foundation will award $1,000 to the Carver High School football program in the name of head coach Ben Shufain. Welcome back to Patriots All Access. Time to sit down, talk with Coach Belichick. And Coach, it'd be silly for me to ask you about you know the results of the last two weeks, but a couple of players said we had some good days in practice. We stacked some together, just didn't carry over to Sunday. Is, is that pretty much the way the way you guys felt as a staff too? Uh, yeah, I think there's some truth to that. Um, but you know, anytime you turn the ball over for a pick six, uh, you know, in the first quarter, like we did the last two weeks, and that's always going to make it, you know, make it tough to win. So we got to do a better job taking care of the ball and certainly early in the game. You put a lot in as a staff. You guys, you know, research everything. Yeah, you know, watch a ton of tape. You know, you game plan. Is that the most disappointing thing is when, you know, you try and apply it during the week and it just doesn't carry over on game day for you guys as a as an entity? Yeah, well, anytime things don't things don't work out on Sunday, it's always disappointing. So, um, you know, it's next week and, you know, Got the Raiders this week, and so uh, it's an opportunity for us to turn things around. Absolutely, it's a short, short, short week. Uh, you go right into the next game. Secondary is a little banged up, obviously. Uh, you've been through the injuries. Uh, you bring J.C. Jackson in last week. You got him up and running a little bit last week. Um, how was it on a short week? You know, getting a guy back in the program. Things are different than it was a couple of years ago, but for the most part, it looked like you moved around pretty, pretty good out there. All right. Well, it was good to get him back. Like you said, we were uh, a little short at the at the corner position. Um, you know, he played. You know, a few plays, handful of plays, and we'll see how it goes this week. But um, I think we'll be able to work him back in there uh, as time goes along. But, um, yeah, it's definitely a you know, concern overall depth in the secondary. Good to get Jonathan Jones back, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's one of our most dependable players. Absolutely. Uh, Vegas, you look at them. Uh, played out there, obviously, last year. Probably the biggest change, Jimmy Garoppolo's quarterback. When uh, you look at the tape, you say, close your eyes. Is that, is that old Jimmy? Yeah, for, for yeah, Jimmy. You know, he's, he's still you know really athletic and uh, he's got a great arm and can make all the throws. So um, you know he's got you know pretty yeah. good good uh, passing game, good group of receivers. So um, yes, be a good uh, you know be a big challenge for us out there. Speaking of those receivers, Devontae Adams, obviously one of the, one of the top top guys in the league. How tough how tough is it defending him? You know, yeah, he's that, really good. Yeah, you know, we know we've seen we've seen some good receivers this year. He's certainly in that group and. Um, you know, he's, he's slick, very crafty guy with, you know, excellent hands and ball skills and, you know, makes a lot of uh, tough catches and acrobatic catches. So, um, yeah, you got to be all over him. And Jimmy looks comfortable in Josh's system. You know, yeah, sort well, of back, back together, right? Yes, like like right. old hat. All right, time now for the ace ticket. Twitter question of the week. And it from, comes from at K underscore love underscore three. Get a mouthful right there. A uh, little bit of uncharted territory here, territory here for you. Uh, how do you dig yourself out of it? Yeah, just go back to work and, you know, take it one one practice at a time, one game at a time, and, um, you know, try to get, get things back on track. So um, we're working at it, and uh, hopefully we'll have better results this week. Sounds good. One win, start stacking them together, and that fixes some things. All right, if you want to ask the coach a question, you have to follow the team on Twitter, at Patriots, hashtag it, ask BB. A little bit of Bellistrator, uh, probably look at Devontae Adams. he got a pretty good running back too, right? Yeah, Jacobs is really good, yeah. All right, sounds good. We'll have the Bellstrator for you later in the show, but more of Patriots All Access will return right after this. Coming up on All Access. Gronk is back, spreading his energy and message of hope to those who need it. Two people that have done it so far are Tom Brady and Kenny Chesney, and now you will be the third. You are in some special company, that is for sure. Thank you. Plus, we revisit the greatest Patriots Raiders game of all time. The crowd will tell you whether he makes it or not. Snap, ball down, kick is up. Patriots! Patriots You're watching Patriots All Access. Patriots All Access is brought to you by Putnam Investments. Putnam Investments and the New England Patriots, proud partners committed to an active game plan on the field and off. 
by Gillette Labs with Exfoliating Bar, Gillette's ultimate shaving experience. And by Dan O'Brien Auto. Come in to any Dan O'Brien Auto Group store today and get your awesome protection plan. Keeping it awesome. Come on into the Social Media Minute. I'm Tamara Brown. The social media story this week is Jamie Collins announcing his retirement. After winning two Super Bowls and a 10-year stint in the NFL, he is hanging up his cleats. Let's take a trip down memory lane as media members, current players, and former ones took to social media to share their favorite highlights and moments. Collins who runs down the right sideline. One man to beat a lineman. Touchdown. Ball high in the air. It'll be intercepted. Jamie Collins. That's it for the Social Media Minute. See you next week. Welcome back to All Access presented by GEICO. We are happy to kick off another season of Tales from the Tailgate brought to you by Bud Light. The idea is to present unique stories and groups who share a passion for football and fun. This week, we introduce you to Jonathan Gates, who celebrated his 60th birthday on Sunday here at Gillette Stadium. We, we did some bacon. We got some... Uh, pearl sausage, we got some steak going, we got some grits and fried fish going. You could be at home on your couch or you can be out here with us. Come have a shot with me for my birthday. You don't turn 60 every day. God's blessing. This couple just walk by, they're taking pictures. This is what people do, they come by, they see what we do and they get into us, so we invite them to come eat with us, come drink with us, and have a good time. I need to put y'all hands together for me one time for my big brother, Jonathan Gates. Let's go. Good evening, everybody. How y'all doing? Well, I got started in comedy uh, by mistake. I looked at Fred, I was like, no! <laughs> Don't do that! I started studying some of the greats in comedy uh, from Red Fox, Flip Wilson, Wild Man Steve, uh, George Collins. I started studying what comedy was about. That's how I got into comedy. Boston is the only place that black people are scared of rain. I'm a homer. I'm a Patriots fan. I'm a Red Sox fan. I'm a Celtics fan. I'm a Bruins fan. Anything come with Boston, I, I, I'm it. When you see the finished product, it's worth it. Let's pull it closer. Tailgating is something that unite us and bring us together. That's what the good thing about tailgating. Not just about the game, the game is easy. The part is this part. It's like a glue that put us together. Put that inside the cooler. Well, I'm doing the food, so everybody come talk to me. Bud Light recognizes this great tailgate with a prize package delivered by former Patriot Logan Mankins. Mr. Gates. Right here. Oh, you're the winner, Mr. Gates. Uh, may I please have a Bud Light, sir? Of course. <laughs> you have a whole cooler full. You guys doing good today? It smells great. Mr. Mankins, can I have a picture with you? Sis, can you use your camera? I'm here with the All Pro right now. Since he's in my kitchen, you guys got to pay me like a 30 cents to talk to him. <laughs> hey, I got 30 cents. I'll, ta I'll take it. Uh, do, do they make it in big dude size? I don't know if this will fit you or me. And sign it to the best tailgate, period. You know the best part about us tailgating? The people we don't know that walk by and say, what are you guys doing? And, 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 and we invite them in. That's the greatest part about tailgating. I don't care about nothing else. Yeah, we heard people all from Quebec, Canada. Oh, honestly, it's the most uh, nice people I've, uh, I've seen. We're just football fans. It's his 30th birthday. 
So we just figured uh, we want to see an NFL football game. The people are all friendly. Everybody is vibing, and I love it. Happy birthday to the birthday boys. Yeah. 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 But let's go, Patriots! <laughs> <laughs> we just here got in touch with people. We were invited. It's so friendly here. Everybody's welcoming us. So yeah, what a wonderful thing to do here. It's his name. Logan. Logan. Uh, oh, yeah. Mankins. Uh, yeah. I heard you've been to a lot of games. <laughs> Great to meet you. The more people, the more fun. Oh, good to see you. How you doing? You good? I woke up this morning. That's all I can tell you. That's it. That's all. If I don't wake up, I got a problem. No, you're going to be yeah. here for a while. I'm a big problem. Yeah. Mr. Woods is the pioneer of the best damn tailgate, period. I've been coming for a long time. Down. So I've had this season tickets for over 44 years. I'm 92. Oh, I'm getting ready to retire from it now. Mr. Woods is the foundation of what we do, how we do, and why we do it. I've been doing this for him for 30 years now. And we've been coming out here doing this till he started this. So it's like we keep it going for him. This is our patriarch. Um, we started with him, his wife, his son, his cousins, and unfortunately he's outlived them all. And we picked up from that and we keep this going for him. Without Mr. Woods, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. Last November, they rushed me to the hospital for like 36 days. They told me I wasn't going to make it. So for me to be here on my 60th, this doesn't make it sweeter. It just makes it what it's supposed to be. I'm humbled that God saved me so I could be here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Time is not promised. And remember this, I love you. Ain't a damn thing you can do about it. Happy birthday, happy On a snowy January night 21 years ago, the New England Patriots kicked off a dynasty. We're gonna get this one. I promise. I promise that. Hall of Fame careers were born on this night. First at quarterback. Snap to Brady. Looks, stands, starts to run with it. He is down to the five, and he's in. Touchdown, Tom Brady. That was some drive. Yeah. Like Tom sun Brady. Drive. I didn't know if he had it in him. The nation was then introduced to the tuck rule. Standing in there, looks to the left, loses the football. From the ground, and it's see if it's a fumble or a pass attempt. I believe it's going to be called a fumble. It is. A fumble, and the Oakland Raiders recover. After reviewing the play, the quarterback's arm was going forward. It is an eight. Oh, what? Patriots retain the ball. Which led to the greatest kick in NFL history to get the Patriots to overtime. Snap, ball down, kick up on the way, and it is good! It is good! 45 yards out of military! Brady was a perfect 8 for 8 in the extra session, and New England moved on to the AFC Championship game. Come on, Alan! The crowd will tell you whether he makes it or not. Snap, ball down, kick is up. Never 
Now on a third and 10, three seconds left. Jones will give it to Stevenson. He started right. He runs it up the middle, hit by Chandler. Jones slips the hit across the 45 with a stiff arm. Off a tackle at the 40. He lost the football. And Jacoby Myers picks it up. He circles back and he throws it across the field. Oh my Jones God. is picked up by Chandler Jones. He breaks away to the 30. He runs to the 20. He runs to the 10. He runs to the end zone. Unreal. The Patriots will look to avenge last year's defeat in overtime to Vegas. It's a different team than what we played last December by far. Yeah, that's kind of the chess match uh, when you play against a former coach. I've learned it's it's fun though, man. You got you got to embrace it and make the best of it. Welcome back to Patriots All Access. Time now for the Bellistrator. Take a look at the Las Vegas Raiders. Starts with Jacobs, a running back, right, Coach? Well, uh, yeah, and this is an interesting play here. It's third down and 17 against the Chargers, and uh, you know Jacobs is here in the in, in the running back, and and uh, you know just throw a little check down to him here, uh, and he takes that and runs for a first down. <laughs> Third and 17 so, check down. So. Leave him uncovered too, though. Like that's that's one where Jimmy looks yeah. at it and says, okay, I take what they give me. Maybe, hey, if we don't get it, we flip the field position, but players make plays here in this Yeah, league. really good, uh, really good with the ball in his hands. Outstanding runner. Um, and really, Adams, uh, you know, this guy's a, a tremendous player. He can do a lot of things. And against Buffalo here, he, he just takes a little uh, screen pass here, short catch and run play. And uh, that's Colt Miller, number 74, you know, coming with a kick out block. And then, you know, Adams does a nice job of running here, breaking a tackle. And so, you know, he's good with the ball in his hands, good on catch and run plays, uh, you know, very good in traffic, making the tough catch. Uh, and then uh, against the Steelers, uh, we'll see this play coming up here against the Steelers. Fourth and one, um, here he is down here at the bottom of the screen. Uh, Raiders dial up a, a play action here and he Keep can get tight. deep yeah. and can take it behind the defense. So. Uh, really, he's good at all three levels, the first level, the intermediate level, and, and you know, can take it down the field. So um, definitely a guy we got to stop here. Turn on the highlights. Everybody looks at the deep ones, but they'll, they'll throw it to him on that short stuff right down the line of scrimmage, right? And he's good with the ball in his hands. He's an excellent runner. All right, look forward to getting back on track. Good luck, Coach. Thanks, though. All, all right. right, there you go. There's your Bell Illustrator. More Patriots All Access. We'll return right after this. Patriots All Access is brought to you by Bank of America, the official bank of the New England Patriots. And by Putnam Investments. Putnam Investments and the Patriots. Proud partners committed to an active game plan on the field and off. Welcome back to All Access presented by Geico. Former Patriots tight end Rob Gronkowski was in town last week back doing Gronk-like things, such as making a wish come true for a young Patriots fan. How you doing, man? Okay. Nice to meet you. So we are here today at Splitsville, right here, right outside of Gillette Stadium at Patriot Place, and I just got to make a make a kid's wish come true uh, through the Make a Wish Foundation. I chose to stay to see Rob Gronkowski because it's been my it's been my dream to be kind of like him since I was little. And when I would make a wish that I could have any wish I want, I thought of this first as. After they gave me choices, but I was like, hey, I'd, I'd like to meet the Gronk. That looks good. Well, that looks really good. Yeah. All those good memories kind of have a tendency to push out all the other memories that we don't want to be followed by. So this has done a big, this is a big dose of good memories. Jake, you are going to be the special guest of the New England Patriots, and you will be the keeper of the lighthouse, and you're going to be ringing the bell before the game nice. on Sunday. How exciting is that? It's really exciting. Yes. The two people that have done it so far are Tom Brady and Kenny Chesney, and now you will be the third. You are in some special company, that is for sure. <laughs> Thank you. This is going to be a memory that comes yeah. back and back and unbelievable. back. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I can't wait to see him ring that bell um, before the Patriots game and get the whole crowd fired up. It's so cool. You see it up there, right above the stadium. So oh. It's going to be great. I'm very excited. Yeah. 
Welcome back to Patriots All Access and our Bob's Discount Furniture Studios. Back with Mike Reese and Paul Perillo. We talked about the offense, but are we letting the defense and special teams off the hook? when it comes to this whole entire situation. Yeah, a, l- a little bit, I would say, especially in this Saints game. I thought it was pretty much a collapse across all three phases. But I would say for the most part, m- when you can't move the ball and score, it's really putting a lot of pressure on the defense, Mike. And I thought the early pick six took a lot of spirit away from the defense. But to your point, Steve, are we letting the defense off the hook? You don't have to respond by allowing consecutive touchdown drives, mm-hmm. and that's, that's what the defense did. And they're dealing with a lot of injuries on that side, too. Um, but, yeah, it's, been, it's been really been all three phases in that New Orleans game let them down. I'm a little kinder to the defense because I thought they showed, well, not their best game against the Saints. I thought they showed uh, fight. Mm-hmm. I thought they were physical. They just, to me, weren't complimented by the offense and the special teams. Where I hold the defense more accountable, if you will, for the season, just two takeaways on the season. Lowest total wow. in the NFL. Got to start taking the ball away, um, to me, if you want to you know, elevate your performance. And special teams, mm-hmm. I would say, I thought strong start to the season, but the last two, two and a half games have really fallen off the cliff. Bill Belichick mentioned starting over. We are starting over. What does that mean? It's a great question, and I spent some time earlier in the week trying to write exactly what that would entail, Mike. And uh, I think for, for offense... I, I think you you have to try to figure out a way to run the ball more effectively. And and I'm wondering maybe if you just sort of line up Farrell Brown as a fullback and maybe get back to old school and say, we're going to line up, we're going to play some power football and try to take some pressure off the quarterback in some ways. Maybe that's sort of how you start over. But, I, you know, there's a, there's a lot of things wrong, and it starts up front, Mike, with, with yeah. all the blocking and, and protection. But maybe just – Try to play a little old-school power football. Yeah, when I heard him say starting over, the first thing that came to my mind is the fundamentals of football. Blocking, Blocking, tackling, tackling. and almost like what we see on the first few days of training camp. Like, not like, hey, we want to run a play-action pass here based on, you know, what the defense shows. Nope. We're just going to line up and do something that we can hopefully do well, no matter what they're doing on the other side. This isn't Pop Warner football. We're talking about the National Football League. Yeah, Steve, I'm talking about a team that has been outscored the last two weeks, uh, 72 to to 3. Yeah. So I got to go back to the basics. You're right, Steve, but I'm in a desperate situation here. No, good point. And if you're Bill Belichick, Steve, like the turnovers have to be driving you crazy. Yeah. So we just have to do things in an entirely different way, and we're going to stress as long as we end the play with the ball in our possession – we're going to give ourselves a chance to win. Right now, Bill has to figure we're not giving ourselves a chance to win by the way we're giving the ball away. I'm going to ask this. Why not shake it up and throw in a package for Malik Cunningham? Why not shake it up Mike, and I'm throw in a package <laughs> for Malik Cunningham? Why not make your quarterback a weapon? Yeah. They're lacking weapons. Hey, I'm all for it, um, Steve. Why I, do I feel I, there's a butt coming? No, I'm all for it. I think you have to try anything. Okay. Like, literally throw it all out there. There's nothing to lose at this point. I think relying on anything more than just a package is sort of a little bit aggressive. And I would just say to my turnover point, um, injecting an undrafted rookie who's on the practice squad into the offense is probably not the best way to ensure that you're going to protect the football. And that's no disrespect to Malik Cunningham. It's not his fault that he's not probably at a level ready to play quarterback in the NFL. All right, they got to face the Raiders. Okay, this is supposed to be the softest oh. part of the schedule, yes. or yeah. softer part of the schedule. Yeah. Week in, week out, we don't know yeah. how big this challenge is going to be for the Patriots, right? Yeah. And now the mountain has become even steeper. Yeah, these games uh, were supposed to be where, you know, these back-to-back weeks, New Orleans, Vegas, then in a few more weeks, it's Washington and, and Indianapolis. And I don't know where people are getting this impression that the other team's talent is no good. Uh, I, I think that, you know, you look around, we, we talked about Olave and Thomas and, and uh, Alvin Kamara last week, and people just sort of blew past that. Well, it's the same thing this week, Mike. It's, it's Devontae Adams and Jacoby, Jacoby Myers. Myers with Hunter Josh Renfro. Jacobs and Hunter Renfro. Yeah. They have the pieces in place to be better offensively than they have been so far. I'm talking about Las Vegas. This will not be an easy task. Here's the hard truth that I see. You're talking about soft part of the schedule. Teams are looking at the Patriots and saying, that's our soft part of the schedule. So it's all the, the perspective point. on which you look at it right now. All right. All that being said, what's your prediction? 
I don't know how you can have a ton of faith right now in what we're seeing offensively. And I don't know how you can put a, a lot of points on the board. I think, you know, I know the Raiders are struggling. They have an excellent kicker, despite what he did Monday night. And Daniel Carlson, I think there's a lot of field goals in this game, Mike. I'm going to go Vegas 19 to 13. Yeah, and I think I wouldn't argue with Paul. I'm going to pick the Patriots 17 13. Is that your heart talking or your head talking? Oh, it's my heart talking. Out with him, it's my heart talking, know. and I'm worried about you. So I, I want to I want to have sure, you leaving the show feeling good. I want to make sure good. you have a smile on your face. I appreciate at the end. it. I appreciate it. All right, guys, great job as usual. That'll do it for this week's edition of Patriots All Access from Mike Reese and Paul Perlow. I'm Steve Burton. Have a great week, everybody.